This week on The Siren, a world guidebook for Numenera, aromatic immersion for your game, an RPG that combines classical music, history and dice, and Conan Returns. Monty Cook Games has just released the ninth World Guidebook for its popular RPG setting Numenera. At 250 pages, this monster of a book is saturated with beautiful imagery and exciting places to set your next campaign. There's enough plot hooks, ideas and strange locations here to make a lifetime of adventures. In typical Monty Cook fashion though, not every question is answered and readers will be left with many delicious frustrations where it's up to you to decide what's really going on in the ninth world. Although the book is available in PDF, if I were you, I'd be splurging on the hardcover version. Just be careful not to drool on all those lovely pictures. We all know that to create great atmosphere you need great sound effects. And apparently there are some apps out there that do that kind of thing. But what if you want to take that immersive gaming experience even further? Well, Kickstarter has you covered with Adventure Sense, adding the sensation of smell to your game. Do your players want to know what an owl bear's armpits smell like? The burning stench of a Nolan fire? Now you can provide these smells to them. The Kickstarter is doing very well, and as we record, they are almost fully funded. It should be really interesting to see where this one goes. I'm going to call the genre smell immersion, smell immersion, aroma rolling, tabletop roll smelling. The intention here at The Siren is not to spend the entire time talking about Kickstarters, but the platform is becoming more and more the normal way to fund and pre-purchase mainstream RPG products. So here's another one for you. Time Cellist is a new RPG from Wheeltree Press. It's almost fully funded on Kickstarter and still has 25 days to run. The players travel in time to stop the supervillain, the maestro of maliciousness, from taking over the world, of course. But this time the players are aided by a cello wielding hero, the Time Cellist. No, no, you heard me correctly. Cello wielding hero. How bizarre is that? I'm already building this background soundtrack in my head for this one. A bit of Elgar, a bit of Shostakovich, the sound of critical fumble string snaps, discordant discord sonic attacks, that kind of thing. Playable by all ages, the game is aimed at youth. Sneaky history and music lessons might be inserted into the time travel components. And the game's player ensemble feel has been compared to films like E.T. and The Goonies. Mechanics include rock, paper, scissors, or is that scissors, paper, rock, a slapjack, which is like snap for other viewers, and a cutie catcher. With a son who is both a keen role player and a cellist, we will be sure to check this one out. History, classical music, and role playing. Who could ask for more? And finally, Modifius Entertainment has just announced that they have signed a licensing deal to publish Robert E. Howard's Conan, Adventures in an Age Undreamed of. As to most reboots do, the writers want to bring the setting back to its roots, focusing on the original stories. Modifius claims that this is Conan role-playing as Robert E. Howard wrote it. Savage pulp adventure battling ancient horrors in a Hyborian age. Although Mongoose Publishing already created a successful RPG in 2003 on Conan, this new version looks fresh and exciting. And you can thank me in the comments for not squeezing in any Arnie quotes at all. Well, that's all for this week. Jump on the comments and give us some more feedback. Use Arnie quotes exclusively to do it if you can. Share this video on Facebook or Twitter to spread the news. Do email us at thesiren at gmail.com when you have something newsworthy. Uh, tell me, what smell would you most like to experience at your gaming table? We'll share the best ones next week. See you next week. And for all those Call of Cthulhu players, until then, may all your roles be statistically below average.